Hi guys, Rose Wildsmith here. Today I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful little fabric pots. And I was inspired by an artist called Rachel Singleton. I'll link her in the description. And I used a glass as a mould. Just find something that you like the shape of. And I did try it once without putting the cling film on. And it was a disaster, I have to say. <laughs> Everything just got stuck to the glass. It didn't peel off at all. So the second time I did it, I put this cling film over the top. So it's like this and then it's much easier to pull it off when there's cling film there. And then I am using fabric scraps. So I've got a bowl of fabric scraps here and I'm also using some cellulose glue, cellulose paste. And I use this papier-mâché by Collal, papier-mâché glue. But any cellulose glue would probably be fine. You could also probably use any PVA glue as well. And then I sort of took little fabric scraps and started to place them over and glue them down like this. And then I would put them crisscrossing each other. And in the first layers, whatever you put down, if you want it to look nice on the inside, then you need to make sure that the nice side of the fabric is facing down in towards the glass. These are batik fabrics, so they don't really have a right side or a wrong side. So I'm just using it whichever way. And you can keep building up. And then at the end, what I did was I decided that I'd like to try decorating it with stitch. So I actually just stitched through the final piece to add these. But then you do end up with a kind of messy stitching on the inside here. So this time what I decided to do was stitch a few things beforehand. So I've put some stitches in and then I'm going to glue it down maybe on one of the later layers so that the the messy bit is kind of hidden sandwiched in between the two layers. Okay, so it's the next day and I'm going to try taking this off. It looks like it's pretty much all dry. There we go. It keeps its structure pretty well. But I think these worked quite well actually, these stitched pieces. So I'm wondering whether to leave the top like this with the rough edges or like with this one I trimmed it off to make it more neat at the top but I do quite like this rough edge as well not sure about how it has this big jump there so maybe I'll just trim it down a bit there with the, the purple bit yeah I think it's really cute I could use it to keep pens in couldn't I oh, really sweet 
So this is how I made these little fabric pots and I hope you enjoy having a go. See you in the next video. Bye bye.